uh, Matt Drudge uh, is a news media innovator, uh, and he took off, I don't know, about eight years ago uh, in relation to the Monica Lewinsky scan scandal was when he first became really famous by uh, publishing information that the uh, establishment press in the United States would not. Um, it is as a result of the self-censorship uh, of the establishment press in the United States uh, that gave Matt Drudge uh, such a platform. And uh, so, of course, he should be applauded for breaking uh, a lot of that censorship. I think uh, as uh, time has gone by, uh, Matt Drudge was mainly involved in uh, collecting uh, interesting uh, rumors that look like they might be true and publishing them. The social media has uh, largely sort of taken uh, that place. Um, his uh, political positions, well, you know, uh, some I agree with, some I don't, but uh, he doesn't have that much of an influence um, on, on Australia or in the sort of work, work that I do. Um, in relation to uh, Rand Paul, um, well, um, I'm a big admirer of Ron Paul and Rand Paul um, for their uh, very principled positions uh, in uh, the US Congress on a number of issues. Uh, they have been the strongest um, uh, uh, supporters uh, of uh, the fight against the US attack on WikiLeaks uh, and on me uh, in the US Congress. Uh, similarly, uh, they have been the strongest opponents uh, of drone warfare uh, and extrajudicial uh, executions. And so um, that's uh, quite an interesting phenomenon in the United States, the uh, position of the libertarian Republican, um, uh, for a better description, right, um, coming from a principle of uh, nonviolence, which is the American uh, libertarian intellectual tradition, uh, that produces interesting results. Uh, so um, nonviolence, well, don't go and invade a foreign country. Uh, nonviolence, uh, don't force people at the bullet, bullet of a, at the barrel of a gun uh, to serve uh, in the U.S. Army. Uh, nonviolence, don't um, extort taxes from people uh, to the federal government uh, uh, with a policeman. Uh, uh, similarly, um, the other aspects of nonviolence in relation uh, to abortion that they hold. Uh, I think um, uh, some of these positions uh, that are held by Rand Paul, um, why they, yeah, I can see how they come from the same underlying uh, libertarian principle. Um, I think the world uh, is often more complex and uh, uh, by taking a, a no doubt principled but sometimes uh, simplistic position, you end up undermining the principle. There's um, sort of short-term visions of a principle and long-term visions of a principle. It's quite hard uh, to meld these together. 